Okay, so we're doing a tutorial for this video. So today, tutorial RPG in a box is how to do dialogue. So first off, we're gonna place down the thing you want to talk to. Place down your entity. It's over here in this tab. And if you don't know how to create one, you go to Voxel Editor New, click on Character, and then name it, and then create it. And that's then you model it, and then boom, put it in your game. Uh, but now we'll go to dialogue. So go to this top bar right here. And then click on dialogue editor. Now click on new. You can name it whatever you want. But usually I like to do is put the creature's name. So my creature's name is goblin. So I put goblin. And then put sword in it. And I put hashtag one since this is his first dialogue. Then it doesn't really matter what you pick here first. So what would so what would be the first thing to play? You can click NPC player. You can delete this. This is and then you can just drag a new one in if you want to change it later. But we're gonna make it where the NPC says, let's say uh NPC says I don't like you. Oh, that was very nice. And I'll say, place on your thingy, and you can make a character say like, no, you. I don't know how that makes sense. But you can also make dialogue. I mean, multiple choice. I don't know what I'm saying. Multiple choice. So you can pick two options. You'd be like, screw you. Or maybe, I love you. Whoa, that's kind of sus. But then you can put some word. So you put like another one. Uh, stupid NPC. You can put down another one right here under like this one. So, see the strings right here? So this is how it works. It'd be, it's like a pad. Imagine a pad. There's different ways you can go. Different pads. So go this way. This is the first pad. This is the offside. That'll be what it says. Then it goes down here. And then boom. It splits. The pad splits. You can take two ways. And you pick this way. This will happen. But you go down here. This one. And then this will happen. So you can do different pads. But for right now, we're going to be doing... We're actually going to do a pad. Another thing is you can have messages which basically no one speaks, it just pops up on your screen bottom text like anything other. So let's go ahead and uh actually we're gonna leave this in here and just put that, leave it like that. Also click this small save icon to save it. Now save as is like a duplicate it'll duplicate whatever you're saving, so usually don't click that. Then we'd drag a script. Now what you can do a quick script, edit it and like Yeah. You can Try, but I recommend don't do that if you're new to the game. Well, new to the uh, coding engine. But if you want to add in a script, this is kind of how you click new script, name what you want. Let's name it Goblin Loves You. Oh, who's us? Ooh. Let's do that. And then we can have whatever you want. We're going to do an easy one. We're just going to do. Let's do remove. This is going to be an easy one. This is like a side note. This is just for hard, more advanced, more advanced. So if you don't want to do anything with scripts in dialogue, you can just skip this and just... Actually, I'll just show you what happens for right now. Oh, wait, no, I messed up. Oopsie, guys. I'm so I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I messed up, guys. I meant, oh, ooh, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to cut that out. I'm not, I'm not cutting that out. Everyone makes mistakes. So before you do that, click on your thing you want to make the dialogue happen. Click Entity Properties. Uh, scroll down a little bit. Go to Behavior Settings. And then you can either do so when next to a player is like these tiles right here. That's next to it. Actually no right these tiles right here. These four tiles. Now when player interacts, that's when you click on it, it'll be interactable. You do not have to have these orange plate spaces. You can have just have walk tiles on it. It doesn't matter. But then you click on them, boom. I'm do when player interacts, so we're gonna do start dialogue. Dialogue Goblin Third One. That's the dialogue. Do you see this little box up here? That means there's dialogue on it. And then now, once we start, I'll show you what happens. We got dialogue, guys. Stick with me, guys. It's the easiest part. This is one of the most easiest part. Click on him. Boom. I don't like you. <laughs> Screw off, mate. <laughs> see, look at the enter. Yeah, it's option. But this one, I love you. Yeah, that's gonna do the other thing. Different choices. Now we're gonna go to the harder part, which is the script. So let's let's just put this message script. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Script activated. So this is the script. It will activate, but we're not gonna do whatever this is. We're not messing with that. We're not doing variables. That's just this. Just no. We're not doing that. I'm not gonna get you guys like literally peeing your pants because of how complicated variables are. But we're gonna do this. So we're gonna move entity. Now, now this is a little script tutorial too. Uh, use this is this tab right here, this bottom. Un variable functions. That's like 
a lot of them so don't get this is a lot complicated but we're gonna do what we're, we're gonna do a pretty simple one is remove let's just do remove we're gonna be removing an uh, entity entity is basically imagine like just basically anything from this tab and this tab actually basically anything that's on these tabs these three tabs can be removed now what, this self means your player so base chest and as my player it'll get removed you'll get removed from the game so we usually never do that click on this little wizard called entity expression builder click on him entity by id click on that boom and now we need ids now ids are like little i don't know like little uh information some data in your characters so we don't have any ids so it is, it's not gonna do anything we're not gonna move anything because there's no id in there click on him and let's give him an id we don't want this goblin so we say screw you he's gonna leave so he's gonna disappear banish from existence so what you want to do is uh first is the first thing on top is entity properties is entity id click on it let's give him let's give him id let's, let's name it love you can put letters or numbers so yep that's what you can do uh click save to save it and then boom we put the team and then make sure to copy it click on entity wizard and do not edit this do not edit this expression unless you know what you're doing but since you guys are watching this tutorial i assume you're not doing what you're doing so i'm gonna assume you don't know what you're doing so use this love one two three use id string only uh don't mess with that and then that's it that's his id so now the script is gonna go start when the start the script starts when it reads this it's gonna remove this entity and it's gonna check okay so it's an entity so it's one of these and then it's gonna read the ID and look for the ID and this ID is in my boy over here so he will get removed once we pick the first option choice it will not play if it's on the second option choice now before we start we're gonna do resource which is gonna be script editor and then we're gonna click goblin loves you which is the script's name click save also pause until complete I would recommend to never have this on. Never have this on. It has, during my time of coding, it messes up a lot of code sometimes. Like, sometimes a like, script completes it, but it still goes on because of variables and stuff like that. Not sure what happens, but there. So now if we quick play, load up the game. New game. And then let's walk up to my boy over here. I don't like, I don't like you. I love you. And then, Boom, he vanishes from the face of the earth because we did a script. It's how you do dialogue. You guys feel cool yet? The dialogue. I'll do another tutorial in like a, a month because I usually never post tutorial videos. Uh, if you need any more help with this system or, or have any uh, any help with any coding in this game, uh, ask me. And hopefully I know. But I'm not Jesus, so I do not know every single answer. So, yeah, I will let you know if I knew the answer. I will comment, hopefully, if I don't forget.